Hello everybody, this is Gwyneth Isaacs here. Now, I have, um, I've, I've got some really, really good news. We have just had National Broadband Network installed at our place, which means that I actually get high speed internet. Woohoo! That's really good news because it means that instead of, you know, um, having to wait for five hours for a 10 minute YouTube video to upload, I can upload it right away. And what that means is that I can now go to making podcasts again on a regular basis, like I was when I was back in Geraldton. Now it's been four years since I've been able to make regular podcasts and I'm going to try and be disciplined enough to do it every day. You'll probably notice on this video that my eyes are looking up to one side. That's because the camera is over here and it's really hard for me to make a video looking at the camera the whole time. And I'm making it from my cell phone. So it means that I'm going to have to, you know, have my eyes pointing up to one side, okay? Instead of, you know, it probably would be better if I could look straight at all you guys, but uh, that's just not how my phone works, okay? So there we go. Now, news for the day. Mama Aberdeen has gone missing. Wow, and the dead man's switch has been flicked. And a bunch more Hillary emails have been released from Mama Aberdeen's laptop. For those of you not in the know, Mama Aberdeen is one of Hillary's girlfriends, one of her many girlfriends. Okay, and she's one of the Hellcats. And her mother is the world's biggest proponent of female genital mutilation. Which means she thinks that all us ladies should get certain parts of us chopped off. It's sometimes called female circumcision. But it's not really. It's, um, and instead of just taking the bit of skin off, they take the whole outer part that, you know, is the part that gives the sensations. Okay? It's, and she's gone missing! And a dead man switch has been flicked! Wow! That's amazing! That means she's probably uh, either in hiding uh, or really not alive anymore. Oh my god, that's awful. I really pray, I pray that she is safe, that she comes forward, that she uh, spills everything that she knows. Mama, if you're watching this, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ and he can look after you. By the way, I thought I'd mention here, I know that my YouTube channel is monitored. Um, there's Dead Man switch, Switches active on my life too. Okay? Because I have had um, people from the powers that be try and really harm me, uh, kill me, and my sons, and if any of us are harmed, then those uh, dead man switches get flicked, and the names of a certain pair of pedophiles who lived in Geraldton um, at the same time that we were there, just around the corner from us, will be released to the international press, and there's nothing you'll be able to do to stop it. Okay? Yeah, I wouldn't be harming me. And other information too. Okay? That goes for all Australian police. 
especially Queensland, Victoria and Western Australia. Okay, I wouldn't be harming me. <laughs> that would be a really stupid thing to do. Anyway, um, Norma Aberdeen is gone. She's just, she, oh, I pray that she's all right. I really do. These people, they, they, they're just, they're, they're totally evil. Mate, if you elect Hillary, she's and she's 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 just evil. She's just a black witch. She's um. There was a book that I read twenty years ago called Hillary's Hellcats, and the woman who are around her is just as bad as what she is. Okay. Uh, and. If you get the chance to read this book, you can probably get it on Amazon. Uh, Hillary's Hellcats. I can't even remember who wrote it. You know, I wish I could. But it's it would be quite a read, you know. Um, yeah. So that's that's the major news of the day. Now listen, guys. The other thing... I've had people commenting about my teeth on my YouTube channel. Well, they've been accusing me of being a crack addict. I'm not a crack addict. <laughs> okay? I'm not any sort of drug addict except for maybe a caffeine addict. And um, I have been addicted to tobacco, nicotine in the past. Okay? Uh, but aside from that, I've never been addicted to anything, you know. Um, man, oh man, the reason why my teeth have gone is a few reasons. Uh, for one thing, my mum, when I was a little girl, she thought she was doing the right thing. She gave me fluoride tablets, you know, one a day. I, I can't remember how long I was taking them for. But there, were, there was quite a few of them, quite a few jars of fluoride tablets. You know, I had one a day, and she'd give them to me. She thought she was protecting my teeth. Well, Mum, look how that worked out. Okay. The other reason why my teeth have gone is because of, uh, I do have a sweet tooth. I do. Um, I have probably about eight cups of tea a day, and each cup of tea has uh, two sugars in it. Oh, that's sinful! Oh, and I make cakes. <laughs> I make at least one cake a day. Sometimes I even make or or, or loaf of bread or scone. Um, I like to bake. I really do. I bake for my children and I bake for me. <laughs> and there's lots of sugar in my cakes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, we usually go through about two kilograms of sugar a week here. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's my little sin. Ah. Uh, but what it's meant is that my teeth have decayed. Yep. <laughs> and also, my mother had bad teeth, and my dad's. My dad had had bad teeth. There's a genetic tendency for weak teeth, and like I say, combined <laughs> with the sugar thing. And combined with uh, the, the dental fluorosis, that's where my teeth have gone. My mum and dad were both Christians. My dad was a Catholic and my mum was a Anglican. They both loved Jesus. We had a godly house. Um, dad was involved in mission work with the Aborigines. And, um, you know... He was also a catechumenate uh, lay preacher. So he, 
he was a really devout man. He was he, he was godly. Okay. There are a lot of godly Catholics out there. And when he found out about the pedophile priest thing, he was absolutely devastated and cut to the core. He really was. You know, it didn't make him stop being a Catholic. But he, he, he was of the opinion that, that Mother Mary was really not happy with this situation. And I believe, I think that's a real underestimation. Mother Mary is really not happy with this situation, with the pedophiles in the church. That's satanic, all right? And I'm also a Christian. I am. I was baptized as a Pentecostal, but since then I have. Um, my religion is that I am a Christian magus. Now, what does that mean? It means I hold the same religion that the Magi, Magi, who came to visit the baby Jesus held, okay? Um, so, it's an ancient tradition. It's a Christian tradition. They bowed at the feet before the infant Christ, and I bow at the feet of Christ, okay? Um... That is a magical tradition. It's the original magical tradition. It's learning how to um, gosh, how how would you put it? Learning the inner workings of the universe is how I would put it. And learning how to effectively uh, speak and act in a way that the power of God can be manifested on the earth. I would say that. I would say that um, that's probably the only reason, because God has shown me these things, that I'm still alive. Because he showed me how to pray for um, miracles to happen. And they, you know, they, they do happen from time to time. I can pray for anything and it will come to pass, you know, if it's according to the will of God. Of course, you've got to put that proviso in. But, you know, there we go. I pray, um, you know, for all sorts, of, I've prayed for all sorts of things in the past. Uh, I remember once I saw a thin, neglected horse in a paddock, and I said, wow, I wish I could have that horse, I would bring it back. And um, I had goats at that time, and my goats escaped, and they, one, a couple of my goats escaped and they ran off. Guess whose farm they ended up at? A farm with a thin horse. You know, and I, I, I advertised at the supermarket, you know, lost two goats. And I got the reply and, I, you know, they, they called me up and they said, oh, we think your goats are here on our farm. I went to the farm and picked them up. And sure enough, it was the farm with the thin horse. And they said, oh, by the way, do you want a horse as well? <laughs> this horse was a quarter horse Arab cross and it was pure white. And it had blue eyes, and yet it was not blind. And I brought that horse back. I really did. And boy, was it a lot of work to bring that horse back. They they were calling it Casper, but I called it Pegasus. You know. So anyway, um, <laughs> this is just about at the fifteen minute mark. I know that some of you might have problems uploading longer videos, so I'd better see you later.
you have a good day. Bye-bye.